Bend at me head, in me head. How oh, people are we all doing on this? What day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. Sun shining. Wherever it is. And I'm gonna give you a run round video of me um my P6 because I think I've done all I can with it at the minute. Um she runs and she drives. The brakes need sorting, but you know, we'll get there. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna take you around my truck. I mean my truck. Yes, this is a big green truck by the way, as you can probably say. I'm gonna take you around my car, which is green actually. Um and show you the ins and outs of it and see if anybody's interested in it. Because I need to go on to my next project. <laughs> What are you doing, Puscat? So, Rover P6. As you can probably tell. There's oil on it, which is the rotter cover. Because if you watched my last video, you'll be able to see that uh, when I started it, it started peeing out the top. But she runs. That's the main thing. Under room power. All the inner sides are solid. As you can probably see, all the back bulkhead is solid, as you can see. Yes, it's got an aluminium hood, but all the paint is flaking off. Um, all the lights are here, all intact. That's all the... Which is front arch. It's all solid all the way down to the bottom of here. A little bit of service rust coming through there. I don't know if you can see under there. Obviously videos don't do anything justice. I don't know that. Everything looks pretty on camera. There's that door. So the only two bits of chrome trim missing is that one. And that one. Um, there is a hole in the bottom of this door here. I'll open this door. As you can see, all the top of there is solid. All of that's solid. Inner floor well is just starting to go down here along the edge. Doors. I think they can be rescued. That's just my opinion. This sill has popped off. I don't know if somebody's taken it off at some point, but yeah, nah. Um, dash. The seats wrecked. Carpet I've had to take out because it was rough. Um, passenger footwell. Yes, there is a hole there, as you can see, uh, along that sill. That's the front floor pan. Back door, solid little hole here. I think repairable. As you can see, that whole outer sill's been, it's kind of been removed. It's like all this sill, solid, all the way up there. All this back, all solid. Back parcel shelves, all solid. Drug tops solid. There's a little bit of rot coming through there. Yeah, that's the surface rust. This is all solid. See you on the other side. Solid. There is a hole there, as you can see. She is absolutely min minging. You can tell she's been sat in a barn for a good while. A few spots of rust on the roof. All the chrome trims on the roof as well. Boot. Bins coming off. On the back. Top of the bumpers. Seems pretty solid across there. There's a little bit in this back quarter here starting to come through. Boot itself. I know it's an aluminium floor, but I've checked through here. That looks solid enough. 
the same on this side. All the chrome trims on this side. That door solid. That's there. On the top of the boot. Various bits and bobs. When I got it, it was full of water. This boot was full of water. Um, so I had to make a few puncher holes, just drain it. Um, whereupon I learned that it is, I think it's actually aluminium. I don't know on these things. Uh, I bought it because I found it. I have cleaned it. You have seen me other videos and I have got it running. I've flushed the tank. I've done various bits and bobs. My cats are all over, by the way. Let's keep clipping out of the car because now I'm here. Um, she has keys. The only thing she hasn't got, but I haven't got the V5 for her, but I was told it was a one owner car. As you know, from my previous videos, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Check them out. That. We've had a running. Lights work. Light has work. Brakes. I haven't even looked at I'm not even taking the wheel off. So have a look at the brakes. Um, I know the brakes are centered up the rear axle on these. Uh, I put my foot on the brake pedal and it didn't quite stop. <laughs> my foot did just go straight to the floor. So the brakes do need sorting out. But she definitely needs work. Now, I'm not into restoration, never have been. I just like taking cars to bits. I also like getting these things right and running for the next person to take over that part of the job. I need to sell it because I need to go on to the next project and keep moving them forward. Because the longer I sit on them, I'm afraid to say, the more money you lose in a degree. So I need to sell it, get rid, not get rid, I don't need get rid. Sell it on to the next person and then go and find another project to save. Otherwise, I would have hundreds of cars sat there and I'll not be able to work on any of them. So if I do one at a time and turn them over, happy days. Happy days. So, um, there's loads of bits of trim here as you can see. The seats and whatnot are all there. The glove boxes are there. The kick panels are all there. The seats are minging, absolutely filthy, as you can probably tell. Because um, it has been sat in a barn for a long time. But the best part about it is, right, I got this, four flat tyres. It took us 45 minutes to drag it on the trailer. I got it home, I'd done a little bit of tinkering. I think the, th the most money I spent on it was the petrol to put in the back, which was a tenner. I cleaned the carb, I fixed the fuel pump. I got it all flowing, all with minimum, minimum effort in my eyes. And she starts and she drives forwards and backwards. Selects all the gear, clutches there. Brakes do need attention, as I'm saying. But anybody can do this. Anybody. <laughs> I do not understand the fandangality of those type of cars which is why my Q7 is currently off the road because it needs injectors, computers and all this type of crap. This hammer, screwdriver and some, you know, gasket sealant, yes. So, I think it's worth 1100 quid all day. I don't know what you think. Send me a message. Skeltnotos at aol.co.uk or message me on Facebook, Crusty Rusty Savage, or Instagram, Crusty Rusty Savage, or YouTube, drop a comment in the box below, Crusty Rusty Savage. On to the next. I want to thank everybody for um, watching my videos. Um, I'm getting there slowly, a little bit of time trying to hit a thousand subscribers and I'm getting a few a day. I'm getting more and more hits on my videos, which is brilliant. Um, I'd like to thank all of you for that, you know. Spread the word, spread the joy of me. I know you can't get enough of us. No, you're joking. 
Well, what I want to say is uh, thank you. Um, make sure you click, like, and sh sub <coughs> subscribe. Yes. So that's the end of my video. That's my Rover P6. Make me an offer. Well, actually, you know, I need 1100 quid for it. I'll give a full receipt. Keys is there. All the locks work. Even the window's going up and down with a winder. Uh, take her away today. Thank you for watching. Happy tears and God bless.